The uh, Orchard Apery. Um, this is where we had the problem with the uh, potentially the drone laying queen. So we're going to have a look at that and uh, see what we come from there. Um, thank you everyone that subscribed so far. Um, it's great to see that people do sort of enjoy what I uh, one of my hobbies. So uh, let's uh, let's take it there. Thank you very much. Right then, so uh, here she is. Let's see um, how we got on. This is the one with the uh, drone, apparent, maybe, sort of, drone laying queen. Let's see what we got. Let's open her up. Do a bit at the back, a bit at the front. So, um, right, so it's been a couple of weeks. I wanted to come up obviously a week later, but because of the weather, it wasn't worth <laughs> Uh, the trouble um, could have caused more problems than it's worth to open them up with those low temperatures. So uh, we we'll see what we got today then, and see how well she's laid or not. The case may be. Hmm. I'm looking okay in there. There's a lot of workers in there. I'll... So hopefully we find a lot of capped worker brood rather than a load of capped drones. So she's not there, I'll just drop that at the front. Right, it's very um, clogged up with brace cone. So let's Deal with that. Deal with that first. Right. So there's a bit of capped. I need that empty frame. Otherwise. A lot of empty sails. This is heavy, full of nectar. Just turn it to the sun. Nectar and pollen. Nice and heavy, like I can remember last time. It's only give a bit of smoke. They're not being the best temperament, to be honest. This one's heavy as well. Again, full of nectar and pollen. They definitely need some bee bread. So you're gonna need a super, I'd imagine, if they're if she's laying properly. That is totally empty. Nothing in that at all. I've got another queen that I've got from, from the cutout that I'd done. I put the video out for that. Um, the smaller one, the last one, unfortunately, she became a drone layer over winter. So she obviously didn't mate very well. Now I'm not sure whether it was a supersedure as well, because I thought I saw a remnant of a queen cell in there, but I wasn't quite, it wasn't a lot of it, so quite possibly it was a late supersedure again. Uh, when I uh, did the cutout, I may have hurt, damaged the queen. 
because they had fresh, I think I, I put fresh foundation in for them and fed them. So I don't think, uh, so she would have laid eggs. Um, but we'll see what we got here. Now I've seen some eggs in here. And there's lots of pollen. Again in there, lots of pollen. Nectar. I remember the, the brood nest wasn't there more, so probably this frame or the next frame. Right, we got a load of, now there's a worker, those are worker brood. There's no drones on that frame, apart from maybe one that I can see, but it's empty. Um, this one's all worker as well. Um, well, I can see. I can see a like a queen play cup, as they call it here. I just see if there's anything in there without taking it off, but I've had to. One beat. Nothing in there. I don't know where you can see that, but there's not a thing in there. Normally, like if it was a queen, uh, a swarm siren, and I'd have royal jelly. Right now, straight away, I can see a, a, a queen cell on the next frame. Well, a queen cell. I can see potentially a queen cell until I see where there's anything in it. Right in the middle, which would either say a supersedure keep mentioning this super procedure, either a super procedure or a emergency sow or possibly a swarm sow. Right, so there's a load of brood there again. That's all worker brood with some, some, very few brood, uh, drone brood. There's a few there and a couple up here, but on the other side, I'm trying not to bang the frame because it's important not to bang them. There's these here. So quite possibly, these again are supersedure, possibly looking at them or emergency. But, get them in the sun a second. There's nothing in there, it's empty. There's a few, there's empty. They are empty. Now I'm not sure whether this here, I'd almost say that was possibly the remnants of a queen cell, I don't know, or a brood, or a, keep saying brood, drone, it's getting all me brood and drone muddle up. Whether that's a, a remnants of a queen cell or a drone brood that they've pulled out, I don't know. I have to look back on the footage, see if we can see it from before. But potentially there's two quite big queen cups with nothing in. It's as though they've started building them, building them out, and then they've eaten the larvae inside, I don't know. So there's a few drone in there again here and there, but there's hell of a lot of worker brood. So it's looking good, actually. Like I said before, she may have possibly just started laying. And uh, wasn't, uh, was laying a few, uh, few blanks. A few male, a few unfertilized. You can see the ring of, the ring of pollen there. And then there's a gap which has got egg and larvae in and then you can probably see, I don't know you can see the larvae in there next to it but so there's still workers there worker brood there so it's not full of drone like i thought now this one's got quite a lot of drone on it excuse me that's it that's got quite a lot of drone, but that's low down on the frame, which is what you'd expect you saw on the other one. This one's a big lump of drone, which, I don't know, perhaps it was laid like that on purpose. 
it's all pat it's all together it's not patchy generally if you see it like it's pepper pot sort of all over the place different places when there's groups of it it's generally done on purpose so she may well be okay that's just got nectar on it all right well what I can see from that is everything seems okay there's a lot of worker brood in there a patch of drone brood but it's one big patch which you can get in most hives especially this time of year like I said they're all coming into they're all sort of coming into sw uh, swarm season so they're going to start thinking of uh, of mating so we're in April at the moment so when comes especially when it comes to depending on the weather you will get swarms now but generally speaking you'll get more um, yeah drone brew take about 24 days uh, to emerge from egg from day one to emerge so talking say nearly a month um, for them to uh, to emerge so if you think of a month from now we'll be getting close to doing uh, thinking of swarming or at least the queens will be out there so that's why you start getting to see the drone brood in there they'll start producing drone when uh, when they've got good um, resources coming in you know when there's a flow on or um, nectar coming in with pollen and um, that's when they uh, start thinking about swarming and reproducing, but they start producing drones. Right, we'll put this super on for them. So, yes, happy days then. So she's not a drone layer. She's done well. So, some good news. Right, put those on there for them. Put the crown board back on. That's all saying. Please comment below. Please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Happy days. Right, thank you very much. Well, that's good news then. She's not a drone layer. She's got a lot of uh, worker brood there, so perhaps she was a new queen. I need to keep an eye on her just in case she didn't mate too well because it was quite early or potentially late. Um, when I find her again, 